Most of the people I talk to with besetting sins, what the Bible calls besetting sins, habitual sins, many of them really love God. Many of them want to change. But out of human weakness, they keep falling and they keep falling. The important thing is this, that you run back to God, that you stand up again. You don't wallow in your sin, but you run back to God. You, you know, many people, they, they don't, mortal sin is when, when, when you commit sin and, 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 and you do it out of rebellion against God with full knowledge and full consent and say, I hate you, God. And, you know, many people don't do that. Many people fall out of human weakness. And, and the idea is to reach out to God when my kids sin. I'm telling you now, I'm a human being and I'm not perfect at all. But when, when, I, when, my, when my kids fall into sin, when my kids disobey, I'm telling you now, when I look at them, I don't look at their sins. I look at them because I'm not obsessed with their sins. I'm obsessed with them. Someone came up to me and said, Brother Bo, why is it that at the feast, you don't talk about sin too much? And then this person was telling me, Brother Bo, Dada, every time you stand up there behind the pulpit and you open your Bible, you should preach about sin so that people will change. I told, I told him this. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. 20 years. I was that kind of a preacher. People who, who are here who, who, who witnessed that. Mine is 17. <laughs> if you've been with me, you know, during that season of my life as a preacher, you know what I'm talking about. Every time I stood in front of people, I convicted you of your sin. You know, people would go home always feeling guilty. <laughs> Where did you come from? Listening to both. I made you guilty 20 years of my preaching ministry. I pointed out one sin after another sin after another sin. You know what happened? Ask me what? People sin more. I'm not kidding. I, I, why do I know? Because I was, I was a pastor listening to their lives. People were sinning more. Ask me why? They hated themselves more. When you hate yourself more, you sin more. But here's the real proof why I knew they were sinning more. Ask me why. I was sinning more. I was sinning more. I could not get out of my habitual sins. Do you know how I got out of my habitual sins? When I stopped being sin-centered and I started being love-centered, mercy-centered, grace-centered, Jesus-centered. Preaching about sin doesn't lessen sin. Preaching about God's love, that's how it 